Today we're going to learn about palindromic numbers. Well, what are palindromic numbers? Palindromic numbers are numbers that can be read the same, forwards and backwards. Now, let's look at examples of a palindromic number. Our first example of a palindromic number is 4.4. 4. Let's read it frontwards. It is 4.4. 4. Now let's read it backwards. It is 4.4. 4. So is it a palindromic number? Well, let's see. 4.4 4 can be read forwards as 4.4 4 and backwards as 4.4. 4. So yes, 4.4 4 is a palindromic number. Because 4.4 4 is the same as 4.4. 4. Now, let's look at another example. Let's say our example is 73.73. Is it a palindromic number? Well, let's find out. It can be read forwards as 73.73. .73. And it can be read backwards as 37.37. Now, is 73.73 a palindromic number? Well, let's see. 73.73 73 can be read for frontwards as 73.73 and backwards as 37.37. So, no, 73 is not a palindromic number because 73.73 is not the same as 37.37. So, 73.73 is not a palindromic number because 73.73 is not the same as 37.37. Now let's learn about how to find a palindromic number of from a number. number from a number, you first have to take the number, then you have to flip it around, then you add. You continue doing this process until the sum, which is the answer to the addition problem, is a palindromic number. Now, let's look at an example. Let's say the number we have is 41.22. Now let's flip it around. It is 22.14. 22.14. Now let's add. is 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. Point. 1 plus 2 is 3. And 4 plus 2 is 6. Now is our answer, which is 63.36, a 
palindromic number? Well, let's see. It can be written frontwards as 63.63 .63 or 36. It can be written frontwards as 63.36 And it can be written backwards as 63.36. So, is 63.36 a palindromic number? Well, let's see. 63.36 can be written frontwards as 63.36 and backwards as 63.36. So yes, 63.36 can is a palindromic number because 63.36 is the same as 63.36. So 63.36 is a palindromic number of 41.22. Today we learned about palindromic numbers. Thank you for watching this video.